So what are some of the key differences between iOS 18 developer beta and iOS 18 public beta? This is a very popular question that I get every single year once Apple launches the next major update in form of beta. And as you know, this year at WWDC on June 10th, Apple released iOS 18 developer beta 1 to register developers. Now, two weeks after that, on June 24th, Apple released the second beta for developers, iOS 18, developer beta 2. So naturally, two weeks after that, most likely on July 8th, Apple will release iOS 18, developer beta 3. But this time around, on July the 8th, Apple may also release the first public beta. Now, by the way, if you would like to try the public beta on your device, I'll link this in the description down below. This is Apple's website where you can register to download iOS, iPadOS, macOS, tvOS, all the updates for your iPhones, your iPads, your Apple Watch, and everything is right here. You can sign up for the public beta, and once it becomes available, again, most likely in the month of July, July the 8th, you'll be able to try out the software on your device if you wish to do so as you can see right here again all the links will be down below okay so with that being said why do we have a public and a developer beta why do we have two different betas well it's fairly simple apple likes to deliver the beta to developers first as developers tend to submit most of the critical bugs up front in order to try to fix as many issues as possible initially before we get a public beta so the main reason we get two betas is for developers to submit as many bugs as possible before the public testing and number two to obviously get a head start testing their applications and making them compatible with the latest os but in terms of features is there anything that's really different between the developer beta and the first public beta and to be honest there's never been really anything different in terms of features every feature found in ios 18 developer beta is the exact same features found on ios 18 public beta the only difference here is the name developer beta 3 and public beta 1. Now, last year, Apple did something a little bit different. They actually released a revised version of developer beta to match the public beta, so there wasn't too much confusion. But keep in mind that everything is essentially the same in terms of features, and compatibility, anything and everything is exactly the same aside from the name. Again, developer beta 3 will most likely release on July 8th alongside public beta 1, but the softwares will be identical aside from the names. And the reason Apple does this is so that people know that iOS 18, although it's still in beta, with the first public beta, you'll be able to try it out on your devices at your own risk, but it is not as buggy as the initial beta. But it is still a beta, so just keep in mind that if you want to venture and try out iOS 18, public beta 1, once it becomes available, you can do so, but it won't contain as many bugs as it did when it was first launched the first day at WWDC. And there you guys have it. So essentially, the reason for having two different betas is once for developers and once for the public and that way apple has time to fix as many critical bugs before the public gets their hands on them and tries to install them on their primary devices because i'm sure most of you guys will probably end up doing that and at this time around ios 18 public beta 1 may even feature some of the new ai features we'll have to wait and see a lot of excitement we're less than a week away from the first public beta and the third developer beta which i'm looking forward to here as well hope this clarifies this for you guys thank you for watching and i'll see you guys fairly soon peace